Imagine a civilization so advanced that it could harness the energy and resources of the entire multiverse. This is the concept of a Type 7 civilization. Now, you might be wondering, what in the world is a Type 7 civilization? To understand this, we need to first discuss the Kardashev scale. Conceived by Russian astrophysicist Nikolai Kardashev, this scale categorizes civilizations based on their ability to harness and use energy. Starting from a Type 1 civilization, which can utilize all the energy available on its home planet, the scale goes all the way up to a Type 3 civilization that can harness the energy of an entire galaxy. But here, we're talking about a Type 7 civilization. This is a theoretical stage far beyond Kardashev's original scale. A Type 7 civilization would not only have the ability to control the energy of multiple universes, but would also possess an understanding of space and time so profound that it could manipulate these fundamental aspects of reality itself. Imagine being able to create new universes, travel through time, or even alter the laws of physics at will. It's mind-boggling, isn't it? Such a civilization would have transcended the physical constraints we currently understand. It would have unlocked secrets of the multiverse that we can barely begin to fathom. The concept of a Type 7 civilization asks us to stretch our imaginations to the very limits and beyond, to envision a level of advancement that is currently beyond our understanding and arguably even our comprehension. But how does our current civilization compare to this seemingly impossible standard? Human civilization is currently estimated to be at a Type 0.7 on the Kardashev scale. A far cry from the near omnipotence of a Type 7 civilization, we're still in the early stages of harnessing the energy of our planet. We're living in an era where technology is advancing at an unprecedented pace, with artificial intelligence and renewable energy leading the charge. Take, for example, the recent upheavals at OpenAI, a company at the forefront of artificial intelligence development. Despite the drama, their work continues to push the boundaries of what's possible, hinting at a future where artificial intelligence might revolutionize society. Yet, our societal structures and politics are still firmly grounded in the terrestrial. The recent American withdrawal from Afghanistan and the chaos that ensued is a stark reminder of the complexities and costs of global politics. We're still a civilization that grapples with conflict, betrayal, and moral debts on a planetary scale. A Type 7 civilization, on the other hand, would have presumably transcended such planetary squabbles. In terms of energy consumption, we're making strides, but we're not there yet. The Finnish industrial power company, Wotsila, for instance, is pioneering the transition to a smarter, more sustainable grid. Their project on Graciosa in the Azores is a promising example of how renewable energy sources can be integrated for stable power output. Yet, this remains an isolated case, not the norm. A Type 7 civilization would have long ago mastered the art of energy production, harnessing resources on a universal scale. Our current societal structure is still largely based on nation-states, with clear geographical boundaries and cultural divides. Contrast this with a Type 7 civilization, which would be a universal civilization, transcending not just nations, but galaxies, operating on a scale that's hard for us to even fathom. So, we've got a long way to go to reach Type 7, but what would it look like if we got there? Imagine a world where we've transcended our physical bodies and live as digital entities within a vast multiverse. This is what it might look like if humanity achieved the status of a Type 7 civilization. In this scenario, our current understanding of reality would be completely upended. No longer confined to our biological forms, we would exist as digital consciousness, capable of traversing the multiverse at will. Imagine being able to hop from one reality to another, experiencing a myriad of existences, each vastly different from the last. Our society would also undergo a radical transformation. The very concept of nationality, race or ethnicity would become obsolete. After all, in a digital realm, such physical distinctions would hold no meaning. Instead, our identities might be defined by the unique coding patterns that make up our digital selves, or perhaps by the realities we choose to inhabit. Technological advancements would be beyond anything we can currently comprehend. 
we're talking about technology sophisticated enough to convert physical matter into digital information and vice versa. This would allow us to interact with the physical world in ways we can't even begin to fathom now. Communication would likely become instantaneous, irrespective of the distance across realities. The very nature of time might even change with our digital existence potentially allowing us to experience multiple timelines simultaneously. And what about our mortal bodies? Well, in a Type 7 civilization, the concept of mortality might become a thing of the past. With our consciousness existing as digital entities, we could potentially live indefinitely, free from the constraints of aging and disease. Of course, all this is purely speculative. We are centuries, if not millennia, away from reaching such a stage. And who knows, by the time we get there, our understanding of what it means to be a Type 7 civilization might have evolved into something entirely different. Sounds like science fiction, doesn't it? But who knows what the future holds? Becoming a Type 7 civilization isn't just a matter of inventing the right technology. It's a monumental task, fraught with a plethora of challenges and potential pitfalls. Let's delve into what these might look like. Firstly, we'll face ethical dilemmas on an unprecedented scale. As we advance technologically, we'll have to grapple with questions about the responsible use of power. Take, for instance, the case of OpenAI. This leading AI development company has faced questions about the responsible deployment of its technology, artificial general intelligence. It's a tool with the potential to revolutionize society, but it also carries significant risks. As we strive to reach a Type 7 civilization, such ethical considerations will only become more complex and pressing. Another challenge comes in the form of resource consumption. As our civilization expands across the cosmos, we require vast amounts of energy and materials. We'll need to find sustainable ways of sourcing these resources without depleting planets or causing harm to potential extraterrestrial ecosystems. Projects like Wartzilla's Island Power Grid which balances renewable and fossil fuel sources, are an early example of the kind of innovative thinking we'll need. But even this is just a drop in the ocean compared to the scale of resources a Type 7 civilization would require. And then there's the potential risk of advanced technology itself. As we harness the power of stars and galaxies, we'll be playing with forces beyond our current comprehension the potential for disaster is high if such power is mishandled. We've seen the devastating impact of conflicts here on Earth, such as the withdrawal from Afghanistan and the moral debts they leave in their wake. Imagine the magnitude of such consequences when we're dealing with the power to manipulate entire galaxies. Despite these challenges, the journey to becoming a Type 7 civilization is a fascinating concept to explore. It forces us to confront our limitations and encourages us to dream big. But as we reach for the stars, we must remember to keep our feet firmly grounded in the ethical, practical and technological realities of such an endeavor. While a Type 7 civilization may seem like a far-off dream, it's an interesting thought experiment that challenges our understanding of technology and progress. In this journey, We've explored the concept of a Type 7 civilization, a theoretical stage of advancement where humans have mastered not just the resources of our planet or our solar system, but of the entire universe. We've delved into the sheer magnitude of such a feat and how it dwarfs our current state of civilization. We've pondered on the potential implications of humanity reaching such a status, a world where we've conquered the limitations of time and space, where energy is as plentiful as the stars themselves, and where technology has blurred the line between reality and imagination. The possibilities are endless, limited only by our capacity to dream and innovate. But as with any great leap in progression, we've also acknowledged the challenges that stand in our way. The ethical dilemmas, the technological hurdles, the societal shifts, and the very real, very human fear of the unknown. These are not obstacles to be underestimated, but neither should they be reasons for us to stop dreaming, to stop pushing the boundaries of what we believe is possible. 
we've looked at the turmoil within OpenAI, a company at the forefront of artificial general intelligence development, and how issues of leadership, transparency, and ethics can shake even the most formidable institutions. We've examined the moral debts and consequences of war, as told by Elliot Ackerman in his book, The Fifth Act. And we've marveled at the strides made by Wotzilla in transitioning towards a renewable energy future, a critical step towards the sustainable progress of our civilization. These stories serve as reminders that our journey towards becoming a Type 7 civilization is not a straight path. It's a winding road filled with triumphs and setbacks, with lessons to be learned and challenges to overcome. But it's a journey worth embarking on, a testament to the indomitable human spirit and our constant pursuit of knowledge and progress. Who knows, maybe one day humans will reach the stars and beyond, becoming a Type 7 civilization. Until then, we can only imagine and strive to better our world.